Now, I love it when someone on here recommends a book to me and it turns out to be a great one. Well, Phil recommended one to me last week and I'm really digging it so far. It's by Paul Jorgensen. It's called Dry Fly Patterns for the New Millennium. It was published in 2002 by the Catskill Fly Fishing Center and Museum. It's definitely a pattern encyclopedia, not a how-to book. And it's got over 350 dry flies in it. A lot of the patterns you will have heard of, but there are plenty in here that you probably haven't. And the first one I want to be tying out of here, well, it's not really a new pattern to me, but it kind of is. It's a simple deer hair caddis. And I've mentioned here on the channel plenty of times that a tan caddis is one of my go-to dry flies here in the mid-Atlantic, particularly if I'm fishing waters that there's no obvious hatch going on. And really, the only thing different about this pattern than the deer hair caddis flies that I usually tie is the head. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. It's a simple tie. In fact, I just tied a dozen of them in the last hour, and I might tie a dozen more before I head down south to fish with my buddy Jim Holland in a couple of weeks. Now, if you've never tied this pattern or a fly very similar to it, put a couple of these in your box. There have been plenty of days on the water where this is the only thing that's caught fish for me. So there it is in the vise, a deer hair caddis. Just my plain, simple, tan version of it. Now I tied a bunch of these tonight in 14, 16s, and 18s. This is a 16, so one extra long barbless dry fly hook. And I've been using tan thread, no matter the color of a body, I think tan is gonna be just fine for you. And first thing I'm gonna catch in, just some ginger dry fly hackle. Not a very big piece. Doesn't have to be to match the hook. You just want it maybe these barbs coming down about a hook gap. Let's go ahead and get that secured. And I'll, I'll trim this. Probably don't need to. We can bury it with our body in a second. But let's go ahead and put some wax on. Now here's where you have a lot of options. I've made most of mine tonight in this tan kind of cream rabbit dubbing, but I did make a few with olive and then some dun colored and even a couple of burnt oranges for you know an October caddis. So maybe a two, two and a half inch noodle, just enough to get us up to about two eye lengths behind the eye. Okay, I think that's gonna be fine. It's a little bit thicker on the back than the front, but I'm not worried about that. Now go ahead and palmer this up. Put the wraps close together if you want a high floater and farther apart if you don't want it to float as high. Just be careful with this, you know, feather. It's not brittle, but it's not real strong either. Now take a small to medium sized tuft of natural deer hair. I will put it in my stacker. And see right there, okay, that's gonna be fine. And we're gonna tie this in about a body length right here. That should work. And it is gonna flare up on you. Don't worry about that. I'm putting these wraps about as tight as I can comfortably get away with, with a 70 denier thread. So don't worry again if that's gonna flare up on you. It probably will. Let's pull these up, put a few wraps through the middle. Now let's just grab all the fibers going forward, all the hairs going forward, and cut it off as close as you can get it. Now we wanna bury the rest of this head Try to get a little flat area right here. Now, see that's flared up a whole lot more than I want, but take a look at it. See what the fish is gonna see right there. And if you have any fibers or any hairs coming off the side more than you want, just reach in here and trim them. You can do that on both sides if you need. I think we're fine right there. Now I've got a few little scraggly stubs sticking up, so I'm gonna spend a couple more wraps right here. But how we take care of that if you've got too much flare, we'll take care of that with our head. So to do that, just a little bit more wax and then some more of that same dubbing that we use for the body. A little bit less of it this time. So what we can do here, just pull these down and then the first couple of wraps that's putting the dubbing down, use that to kind of lay your wing down just a little bit. And I think we're fine right there. Just be mindful not to close your eye. Nothing more frustrating than pulling a fly out of your box on the river and not being able to get your tippet through. 
But in this case, I think we're just fine. I'm not even going to worry about any cleanup. I haven't even been putting head cement on them. I'm going to lose this thing in a tree long before I'm going to have it worn out by fish's teeth. So thanks for watching, everybody. Stick around a couple minutes if you want to see me fishing a fly just like this on the Savage River this past weekend. Good morning, everybody, from the beautiful Savage River. It's late November. Air temperature is about 34 degrees, but the water is 47, so hopefully the fish won't be too sluggish. I am parked at the Whitewater campsites. I'm putting in at this pocket water. You can see that behind me. Got some boulders and lots of pockets. So I'm going to start with a dry fly, tan caddis this morning, my go-to dry fly when I don't see any bugs in the air. But wouldn't you know it, I lost my floating. So my, my caddis is gooped up with chapstick, which will work in a pinch. Now this might not be the best dry fly weather and water with no bugs in the air, but sometimes I can pull them out of here in a stretch like this. If not, I'll go to some nymphs and maybe some small streamers here in a little while. Let's give it a shot. There we go, there's one. What kind of fish is this? How nice is he? He's okay. Let's see if I can get him upstream of me. Ah, I don't wanna to have to wade downstream. Okay, all right. Grab the net here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up there, buddy. Don't bang him around the rocks. Come on now. There we go. All right. Decent fish. Oh, I hate to wet my hand in this cold weather, but uh, we're going to. All right, decent fish. I'm gonna say that's about 12 inches. 